Cancer is a disease that can affect anyone, regardless of race, age, or gender. And the only certain way to avoid it is to not be born at all. Statistics show that approximately 11 Filipinos are diagnosed with cancer every day. Diagnosis is rendered by a pathologist, a medical doctor who is specially trained in diagnosing conditions based on analysis of tissue samples and other special tests. Good morning, Anatomic Pathology. This is Eve. How may I help you? When a patient is suspected of having a tumor, the attending physician or a referred specialist takes a biopsy and sends the sample to a laboratory for processing and analysis. At the Medical City, that specimen is received by the Section of Anatomic Pathology, where a medical technologist receives it and first checks the container and request forms for proper patient identification, clinical data, and specimen labels. Upon receipt, the specimen is assigned a unique barcode for easy tracking and monitoring. The specimen is then evaluated by the pathologist and or the pathology resident with the assistance of a medical technologist. The specimen's color and texture is noted and its size measured. The presence of nodules or masses is also determined. After evaluation, the pathology resident cuts the specimen into sections, which are then placed in tissue cassettes to start a process called fixation, where the sections are put in neutral buffered formalin to prevent further tissue breakdown. From time to time, a specimen may be sent fresh from the OR, endoscopy, or CT scan suites for intraoperative consultation. When this happens, the specimen is sent to the lab immediately after extraction. There, it is frozen and then evaluated in real time. The results are then quickly communicated to the attending physician. This kind of consultation is scheduled in order to determine one of the following, the presence of malignancy, the adequacy of diagnostic material, and or to see if all the tissues with cancer cells were removed during surgery. Specimens sent fresh to the lab also go through the fixation process after they are evaluated. Following adequate fixation time, the tissue cassettes are loaded into an automated tissue processor where several solutions dry them out overnight and prepare them for easier cutting the next day. After the tissues have been thoroughly dehydrated, they are brought to the embedding stations where they are suspended in hot paraffin wax and cooled to form tissue blocks. Each block is cut into very thin sections that fall into a water bath, where they are scooped up and placed onto glass slides. The number of sections evaluated per specimen is dependent on the kind of specimen given. Some require more sections than others. Remaining tissue blocks are saved and may be retrieved for review and further tests even years later. Once the specimens are on the slide, they are stained in batches using two chemicals, hematoxylin and eosin, more commonly known as H and E. As a final step, a mounting medium and cover slip are added. The slides are then arranged in trays and matched with their request forms before they are screened and interpreted by anatomic pathologists. After the evaluation is done, the sign-out process begins. As part of the Medical City's Quality Assurance Program, specific cases are shown to several different pathologists in order to be sure of the diagnosis. In some cases, additional special stains and an immunohistochemistry stain are required prior to rendering a definitive diagnosis. Unique to the surgical pathology report from the Medical City is the inclusion of the Cancer Synoptic Report. This report ensures the generation of a standardized format for resection specimens and contains comprehensive information for research and assessment of the stage of the disease. Once the reports are finalized, proofread, and signed, they are endorsed to the hospital's record section, and copies are given to the patient and the primary care physician. Using the pathologist's findings and with the help of a multidisciplinary medical team, the patient, his family, and his doctor work together to decide on the best treatment option. 
The section of anatomic pathology of the Medical City's Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology receives thousands of biopsy samples every year. The current team is composed of consultant pathologists with subspecialties in breast pathology, hematopathology, immunopathology, head and neck pathology, bone and soft tissue pathology, neuropathology, liver pathology, cytopathology, molecular pathology, female genital tract pathology, forensic pathology, renal pathology, and continues to grow, ensuring the highest level of expertise and care even at the cellular level, the medical city, where patients are partners.